heart and all time. How's it going YouTube? ISO Cloud here and today we're going to be talking about how I got to where I am right now here on YouTube in front of your eyes. Let's jump straight into it. Now I started making some wrong moves and making some wrong turns when I turned 15 and it was probably about the crucial, crucial point where it set me up for the life that I'm living now. So at 15 I was actually homeless. I was I was living on the streets for probably about two to three months. I know the, the comments are probably going to be a little bit skeptical and probably on both different sides as far as what they're going to say about this topic. But but I have to admit, the majority of it was down to my own fault. I was into to some stupid things. I was in with the wrong crowd and made some really really stupid decisions. It is a scary thought. It makes me now whenever I see a homeless person on the street. I don't ever go and give him straight up cash, but I will always go and buy him food and I'll always try my best to sort of not look after them, but just do my part for society because that was one thing that people never really did for me when I was in that position. By the time I turned about 17, I started turning my life around. I got myself a little flat and oh, got myself a little flat with mates and got myself a job and started working hard for everything that I had. The person who actually dragged me out of my attitude and my view in life where nobody really cared about anybody else was my missus. So She's always supported my gaming. Um, I've always said if you ever find somebody who supports your gaming then you need to be going ahead and you need to, you need to not let that one go because if they can support the one thing which is probably the most unsecured career choice in the world then, then you know that they're there and they're, that they love you and that they want to actually be with you. But with everything that's happened to me, I take it with a pinch of salt. And I look at it as in, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I didn't go through that stuff. So, you kind of have to look at it the best way you can. And if you don't do that, then you're only going to despise the way that you live and despise the person that you are. And you can't, you can't do that, guys. So, if you're in a situation where you're, you're, you're struggling within your life, you just need to think of the complete positive aspect of where this can go. And think of the probably the most positive thing that kept me going is that one day, one day, I will actually be the person that I want to be and do the things that I want to do. So I started doing YouTube about a year and a bit ago and never really preached anything at all. Um, I've been joining ISO has actually done really good for me as far as that's concerned. It's opened my eyes to the fact that things, uh, dreams really can happen. See things happening in your life that you just wouldn't have ever seen before. So my, my, my life tip is always expect the unexpected. Because one day it may just smack you in the face. The fan base in, in this channel is just growing like crazy. And to me that's a dream that I never thought I would be having. When I was that 15 year old boy sitting in a subway, it just it just never seemed real to me guys. Like this somebody could give me that opportunity to make myself a better person and to give me the opportunity to tell people that things will be alright, even if they think that it won't. Even if they think that they're at their all time low. And even if they think that they're going through the hardest time possible, things can always get better. And I'm sat here now in a lovely house with lovely kids, a missus that adores me no matter what I want to do with my life. And I've got you guys that support me so much. As I said, we've only just hit that 100 mark. And when I say we've only just hit, I mean we've hit that in under two months, guys. Like two months, 100 people decided to subscribe to my channel to my content because they enjoyed what I did. That 15 year old part of me, it, it gets me quite emotional and it does, it, it's corny as it sounds. It's quite hard actually explain this story because there's probably only about three or four people that actually know that I was once homeless and I, I did struggle with things and made wrong choices. I moved to where I'm moving to after I got myself back on my feet, after I realized that there's more to life than struggling. There's more to life than worrying about the money. And there's more to life 
then trying to chase the next day. That day for that day. And never give up on your dreams, guys, because it can happen. And if ever you're thinking that, that things are really bad and you're not too sure how to get by it, just take a look at this video and or just DM me on Twitter, it's ISO underscore cloud. I'll be there to reassure you guys that things can get better and dreams do happen. All I can say is that dreams do happen. So don't ever give up on your dreams. Never. No matter what situation you are in, look at the situation you're in and make the best out of it. Just enjoy your life. And if you guys can do that for me, there's nothing that I won't do for you guys. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. But anyway guys, I know this was a bit of a rambling rambling video and it probably didn't make sense to quite a few of you so I do apologize that I just sort of rambled on with a bit of gameplay going on in the background but if you're going through a difficult time guys things do get better if you need to talk to me you have to hit me in the DMs on Twitter or leave the link down in the description make sure you hit me up guys but anyway thank you very much for dropping by if you enjoyed the sort of video where I talk about some of the things that I've been through make sure you give it a thumbs up always means a lot when you guys do that and if you are new to the channel please subscribe join the little clouds but like always guys i see you in the clouds that i'm at an all time <laughs>